What up, I'm Monte Harkin. Hey, I'm with Mario Ramsey. I'm Justin Penny. And we for the fourth row. Never wanted to be a rapper, but I'm smooth with this pen. I need a Benz and uh, previously, I just uh, graduated college and being a first generation graduate student, I thought we should do something with our community. And after that, uh, I always wanted to do a back to school drive and just get back to my community and because provide opportunities and resources. And but I always thought I had to be established to do that. But when Nipsey passed, it, it kind of hit me like we got to we got to act now. And I uh, gave the idea to my team. We worked as a team, we came together, and got everything done. And everybody was on the same page and wanted to do the same thing and give it back to the community. That's all, all we want to do. And, I mean, going off of what Ante said, too, he said that uh, he thought that we had to be established to make something happen, but then we really realized that it starts with us. And, you know, there's people out there that are willing to help. And we've, like, we've grown up with people who've had nothing. We still know people who've had nothing, and we just want to give, let these little kids know that when we were growing up, we didn't really have somebody that was always in our ears saying, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do. We kind of kind of had like the street life, like survival, survival. So we kind of want to give these little kids something to look forward to that you can get out of this, you can make it happen just because this is the predicament you're in now. We want to put, we want to set you up for success later on in the future. Like it's okay to be on the positive side and not the negative side. Yeah. It's people from the places that you know you can still make it out of without being in trouble and stuff and being positive and people still love you. Shift that focus, shift that mindset. And that's something I always ask my friend. We always just be like, or like who who's we looking up to? Like who's we looking up to? And we just be like, we just going, going with the flow. So we just like we gotta change that. We gotta provide those resources, those opportunities for the for the youth that we wish we had so that we could do. I mean in my opinion, it was only you know, gang members and athletes you looked up to, you was either gonna be a gang member or you wanted to be a football player. And that don't always work. And that's, uh, that was a funny thing. In high school, we always say, like, shoot, Dell City it had that stigma, like, if you either game bang or you play sport, mm -hmm. you did both. Can't do it. Yeah. Which is just like we said, the folk, the mindset was just street or sports. And we want people to believe, like, it's okay to want to be a doctor. It's okay to want to be a lawyer. It's okay to want to go to college and flourish in life. Like, and we just want to get rid of that stigma. Mm -hmm. Trying to change the way. Cause I've seen it a lot. I've seen a lot of smart people go do dumb stuff because of what it was around them. And it was a cool thing to do. So they thought. Looking into the statistics, uh, like the uh, elementary I went to, Highland Park Elementary, is 100% free and reduced lunch out of 500 students. That's every kid. And, and then Parkview, about 70% out of five, uh, 600 students. Everly Heights is 92%. Like the list go on, and it was just like. That's basically all Section 8. Well, actually, the name kind of funny. It was, because uh, I, I was trying to think of a nonprofit name. It was going with, uh, I was thinking maybe Sooner Road Foundation. And my uh, my sister, she was just like, oh, Sooner, Sooner Rose? And I'm like, no, nah, Goofy, Sooner Road. And then I was like, that's kind of smart. And then I was just like, 44, we stayed, we all grew up on 44th Street. And then it, with the mission statement, overcoming challenges, limited resources, doubt and discouragement, still blossoming to your full potential. It's like a, a rose growing from the concrete. So it's like, it's perfect. And it's, it's no coincidence that our uh, first black president in the United States of America was a 44th president mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, just a little bit more motivation to throw in there too. The back to school project, we did our first one. It was August 18th, we partnered with uh, Grand Gentleman's Nonprofit and JB's Barbershop. And we, we had a, it was a pretty good turnout. We raised about $3,000. We didn't know what we was doing. <laughs> we had a couple months. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a couple months. It was just like right right there in the area. We partnered with uh, Blue Source School Supplies. That's who uh, did our wholesale uh, school supplies. They built us a website. You can go in there, uh, backpacks were like $15. So we ended up raising about 220 backpacks. And we also did uh, free haircuts with the JB Barbershop, so that was a, And we uh, cut 150 kids. Uh, so shout out Nate, JB. Seven, <laughs> Midway City. That's kind of, like, I feel like that's underrated. They got a fresh cut. Yeah, yeah. It was, and we did a couple little girls there too. Yeah. First, yeah. first day of school was what, next day? Yeah, next day. Everyone came to school fresh with a fresh backpack, fresh cut. 
And it was really, it was really dope to see too, though, because like you could tell there were certain kids there that one used to having this type of stuff. Like seeing a backpack was like what made their day. Like that's a beautiful sight to see because you never know. It's like the little things that could really change someone's life. Like we, we don't know. We didn't know every single individual kid or parents that were there, but you never know what type of impact that would have made in their lives. Maybe they gonna know us for that. And that's a good thing. Just seeing the kids smile and stuff was really big on me. That's like really made me go harder. But uh, events, just seeing kids smiling and dancing out there with us, having fun on the moon bounce and stuff, yeah. made me want to do it all over again. Because you never know what's going on in their lives, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they forgot all about it at that moment in time. Being one of those kids, too, that, like, single parent household, your, your mom need help, like, you paying all the bills, you keeping the lights on, food fed, but, like, those extra things that, you know, we take advantage of, you know, we really know about. So, it's so good trying to do that. You never know what nobody's going through at home, so. The code off the backdrop of we doing that, we it's December 14th is gonna be at Highland Park Elementary uh, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And just with that, like the, the winter is near and like uh, I've been going up to Highland Park, uh, Curry Middle School, Dale City High School, and just talking with the counselors and stuff and they're just talking about how like the kids, they, they, don't, they don't have nothing. Like, and it's just like, like a code, like as simple as it may seem, Get, like parents can't afford it and it's just in, the, in this code they wearing no coat they got our, their hands in their shirts or they just got on two jackets or something people actually need coats i was one of those kids i ain't have a coat you know sometimes you gotta just put on a hoodie or two mm -hmm. but we're trying to change that for the kids i mean we're and we're also accepting you know beanies gloves anything to do with the winter to keep these kids warm out here too and i feel like another another thing is as i've been asking people for donations people were saying well i don't have the money well, if you don't have the money, you know, you can donate. Everybody has clothes that they don't wear, so we're taking anything, anything that we can give. To, it's literally called the Coat Off Your Back Project. So if you have something, donate it, because we're willing to give it to somebody out there that really needs that. And we're working on having it in different locations, too. We're gonna, it's actually going to be a coat drop. We're actually going to have one on the north and the east side. Okay. Is that all in this upcoming one? Or is that yeah, it's all in the upcoming one. It's going to be in the same day. Okay. So like three different locations at once? Yeah, like Code Drop, you can't make it to the, over here to the south side to get to Highland Park. You can make it to the north side to get to the map. Oh, that's well, awesome. well, our representatives at all those locations. So it'll be, it's, it's, it's easily accessible for people to and, make it happen. And with, with that one, we're doing a, we even got a toy toss at Dell City. We, we just confirmed that. It's going to be December 10th, their first home game. So it's like any unwrapped gift you can throw onto the court and we're going to collect those. And we're going to pass them out at the Toy Drive, we're partnering with uh, Keisha Creations. She's trying to turn it into uh, an amazing event with just like uh, arts and crafts, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of food, food yeah. dessert, games, everything for the kids to enjoy themselves. So we're even going to talk to them, give them a little speech or two. We got to let them have fun and come out. That's the basketball game on the 10th. Yeah, that's, it. that's at the oh. Coat Drive. That's actually at the Coat Drive, the basketball game on December 10th at Dale City. And uh, we also got a link too. So the link is 44rows.bluschoolsupplies.com and people can go straight to the link and donate $20. And if they don't have that or clothes, like you said, that, that they don't wear, they want to give away, like just encouraging and, and uh, spreading it. Like it, the resource that we have provided. And like you probably, you don't have it, but you probably could get somebody to donate $20. And that's the same thing as you doing it. All right, so you said, um talked about you're gonna have three different locations so obviously it's more than just y'all involved in this so how many how many people would you say um help you out with your, your partners? we got 44 bros so far and we got grand gentlemen nonprofit please be great and with the people that just in the community that's where we're going to we're trying to uh partner with Dell city police department with our back to school drive we partner with uh mercy rehab hospital uh turner pro Aquana, aquatics and uh, they uh, Mercy Rehab. They provided a provided a lot for it. They just donated like a bunch of school supplies and backpacks and notebooks, pencils, crayons, and we we actually took that up to Highland Park and gave it all back to them. That was a special event. Mm -hmm. Even just doing that, seeing the teachers, they called it as superheroes and stuff. So is that we all went to? How much? I went to elementary school there. He he also did just to win around in the community. You no, know, I was in the community. Yeah, yeah I said he went around. Yeah, from, uh, it, it's really it's amazing because it's like coming from there like 
-hmm. without that, like it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be this because that's who, what made me who I am today and made us all who we are today. Like it's actually beautiful because yeah. like you grow up in the neighborhood right around the school, then you go to the actual school and just seeing everything to go around and then actually being able to go back and try to change and give back to your community and stuff and like I was actually one of the kids that was actually more into it so me being able to you know change up and go back and help others is really beautiful seeing the kids and seeing the principals your old principal and stuff tell you stuff and talk to you about it it's real love and it's like it's a humbling experience too though because like in my case like I left like I left Dell City came to Norman went to the University of Oklahoma and I didn't really realize like when you're used to something you don't really realize how bad it really is until you get out of it. So when I came to OU and I just saw how much privilege there is and like how there's really not really a taste of reality in college and then I look back to where I come from and I'm like, man, like this is crazy, like how, how different it really is. So when we come back to the community and do things, you know, I have a different mindset and just seeing seeing the happy faces, seeing that we're actually making a change, man, it's dope. Like we said, we've been going with Highland Park and Kerr Middle School, so those are probably going to be our main future plans, trying to get back into the community, start like after school programs, STEM programs, and uh, uh, Green Gentlemen, they have a lot of stuff to work, so we're going to work with them and just try to get back all over to the community, uh, community centers uh, and whatnot. Different neighborhoods and different areas, you know, stuff like that, just uh, have big brother programs and spend more time with the kids out of school and in school. You know, just more time with them means a lot to me. I feel like that matters a lot. If you give the kids some time and show them that it's more positive stuff out here doing, and you give them, showing them the positive time, you know, then they won't end up doing no time. But we also want to, uh, we've talked about a little bit, is like implementing like different sports camps as well. So like there's different guys within our group or also know us that uh, play different sports at every level from Division One all the way down to JUCO. So we also want to do camps and stuff and like mentor these kids and help them out, you know. We also we want mental health to be a thing, but you know, physical health as well. So we want to get these kids out here and active too. So after school programs, like they said, you know, get these kids out there, let's play some ball, let's play football, you know, baseball, soccer, anything. We got guys that got experience in all that. So just helping these kids out and letting them find their passions of what they really love. And that go with, uh, like I said, we partner with Please Be Great. And uh, my friend Hendo, he, like that's what he wanted to do. Like he wanted to find kids like talent and be able to, to provide those resources and let them give them more knowledge on that. Because like you don't always gotta play basketball or be a rapper or be whatever they want you to be. Like you could if you like doing something that's different, we can we can put you in that uh field and yeah, environment just where you can thrive and be re uh, resourceful on it and just learn about it and put your passion into that. Whatever your passion is. I know you talked about uh he says, I don't understand, he kind of said it in the past in his class. Oh, yeah, uh, like, we want, uh, like, with our after-school programs, we, we like to try to teach kids, like, uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and just basic stuff like that. Uh, like, I like math. I know some, uh, like, Brad, he's a, he was a biology graduate, and I know some engineers and stuff like that. We just would like to push that into the, to the community and just provide knowledge and we're changing the, trying to just change the narrative and the frequency on on the, what they call the ghetto. On social media, you can find us at on Instagram at 44th Rose underscore underscore and on Twitter, we're at 44th Rose and you guys on Facebook at 44th Rose spelled out and uh, the website to go to the link is 44th Rose dot BLU school supplies dot com and the codes will be $20 on there. And then we also have a little link. You can uh, read it and see what we, what uh, 44 Bros means to us. I'm Monte Harvey. I'm Lamario Ramsey. Justin Penny. And this is 44 Bros. And we're giving you the okay. No, it's not my fault. I cut you off. You want support of see through you niggas like water. But even if it ain't money, make sure you donate something. We'll take, we take anything. So spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the word. So all you gotta do is pass it on. And make a challenge if you do donate. Tell someone else about it. Just telling somebody is really making a donation to us too, so. It's all that matters. It's more for the kids, it's bigger than us. Yeah.